education, intonation, pronunciation, speak right to the nation. You want to know how? Please ask me now. Hello everyone, it's a great pleasure to welcome all of you to this week's edition of Speak in the Right Diction. It's really a great pleasure to welcome everyone to this week's edition of Speak in the Right Diction. And of course, for this week, we're going to consider another sound and we're going to have illustrative dialogues and illustrative sentences. Guess the sound for today? It is the CH sounding SH. Now, recall in our last class, we discussed the CH sounding K. Can you remember? I told you that you sound CH in words like C H A S M. You sound it as k, like in chasm, in chemistry, and in mechanic. Can you remember? Very good. Now this week we're going to be considering C H sounding sh. Like you're telling, trying to tell, like you're trying to tell someone to keep quiet. Sh. That's the sound. Now here. You shouldn't sound the ch. Um, you should not sound the ch as k or ch. You should sound it as sh. Okay. Now we shall begin. I will give you some words with the ch sounding sh. Okay. Happy learning. <laughs> All right. Let's start with the first word. The first word we have is pronounced champagne. And you hear people say champagne. Do, do you drink champagne? No, that's wrong. <laughs> it's pronounced champagne and not champagne. Do we get the point? Now, when you see that word or you want to order for it, you, sh you should say, uh, may I? You should say, may I have a bottle of champagne? Or uh, may I have a cup of champagne? And not champagne. Now, now, one thing you should understand is this is not what we normally laugh at in Nigeria. You know, when someone pronounces words like uh, CH and the CH uh, normally should sound ch, and the person is sounding it like SH. Like, for example, you say you want to say chicken and the person is saying chicken. No, that's not what is happening here now. The real thing is that the word having the CH sound that sh is a borrowed word. Many of, those, the, uh, many of the words that fall in this category, they are borrowed words. They are borrowed from French into English. So they sound sh. And the first word we have considered is champagne, and that is, um, of course, uh, a white sparkling wine. That's champagne. So repeat after me. Champagne. Champagne. And not champagne. Now, did you take note of the shape of my lips when I said the correct one? Champagne. And the shape of my lips, when I said the wrong one, champagne. Okay, now to tell the difference, I have a spread lips and that's the correct one. Champagne, champagne, and not champagne. Okay, now take note of that word. It is champagne. Very good. Now, our next word is pronounced chaperone. That is someone that accompanies another person to where he's going or a group of persons 
to where they are going. Okay. Chaperon. Uh, sh sh chaperon. A chaperon. A chaperon is a, a person that accompanies another person or a group of persons to where they are going. Now, in those days, we used to have a, a young lady accompanied by a, a chaperone, someone that can go with her to a suitor and so on. Okay? Chaperone. So it's not chaperone. No, it's chaperone. And our next word now is chartres. Sh chartres. It's also a kind of wine, okay, and it's pronounced chartres. It's a pale green yellow liquor, okay, made from brandy and aromatic uh, hemp. All right. Okay. So pale green liquor made from brandy and aromatic herb. So it's pronounced chartres. Sh chartres. Okay. So the next time you want to order for that kind of wine or that kind of liquor, you say, "May I have uh, a bottle of uh, chartres? Sh chartres. May I have a bottle of chartres?" And not chatras. That's what we're trying to correct that. So repeat after me. Say chatras. Okay, you did very well. Give yourself a super clap. <laughs> All right, now let's consider the next word. It's pronounced chicane. Surprise, surprise. Chicane. It's a sharp double bend. And it serves as an obstacle for a motorcycle or a car that is racing. So that's it. So repeat after me. Chicane. Chicane. It sounded like chicane. <laughs> that's English for you. English can be very, very interesting. All right, so let's go to the next word. Our next word is. Um, Chauffeur, 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 that's a driver, a person that drives another person, chauffeur, and not chauffeur, or chuff you, <laughs> like some pronounce. So repeat after me, say, chauffeur. Okay, you did very well. Give yourself a super clap. Well done, you're learning. Another word, this one is quite common, is pronounced machine and not machine. Take note of that. Machine, sh, machine, and it has a long E. So when you say sh, you should drag it a bit. Sheen, machine, and not machine. I hear some guy say, I'm going to carry a machine gun. No, no, no. It's not machine gun. It's actually machine. So correct someone today. Repeat after me. Machine. Okay, you did very well. Well done. Now our next word is uh, chiffon. As a kind of fabric that uh, women wear. It's called chiffon. And not chiffon. <laughs> so it's pronounced chiffon. Chiffon. Okay. Now our next word is a uh, very common word also. It's called uh, uh, machete. Machete. And the truth is, this word has two pronunciations. So you can say machete or you say machete and what you say you're very very correct our next word is cash can you see the spelling can you see the spelling <laughs> boys pronounce cash okay i'm sure you'd like to know what it means a collection of items of the same type 
stored in a hidden place. So that's cash. Cash. It's sounding like cash. C A S H. <laughs> that's cash as the money that you spend. Of course, uh, they have the same pronunciation. But in this case, uh, the word we are looking at is cash, as in C A C H E. And that is cash. Okay, now let's learn the next word. Uh, it's pronounced chandelier. Chandelier. You know chandelier? The chandelier is the one you have in your house. What you have in, your, in the house it holds, uh, it holds uh, the light. And it looks very lovely. It makes the house look um, very lovely. And um, it's pronounced chandelier. It makes the house looks uh, very, very lovely. Lovely. So it's pronounced chandelier. Right? And not chandelier. Chandelier. Alright, repeat after me. Chandelier. Okay, you did very well. Give yourself a super clap. Our next word is Chicago. Chicago. Repeat after me. Chicago. Now, take note I didn't say Chicago. I said sh sh Chicago. Chicago. The, the stress is on the second level. That's why I raised my voice a bit on car. Chicago. Okay, now repeat after me. Say Chicago. Okay, and that is um, the largest city in Illinois. Did you hear that? Illinois and not Illinois. It is the largest city in Illinois in uh, Central America. So you can say, I live in Chicago, not I live in Chicago. No, no, it's I live in Chicago. Okay, and that's our next word. So you can practice saying Chicago, Chicago, so that when you go there and someone asks you, Where are you? So, uh, I'm now living in uh, Chicago. All right, that's very good. Our next word is shrill. Now, shrill can be shrill can be pronounced as shrill, and it can be pronounced as cheryl. Looking at it from the point of view of an English person, you are allowed to say cheryl. Or if you're pronouncing from the point of view of uh, a French person, you can say. Cheryl is a female given name. So someone can say, well, My name is Cheryl. And it's also right to say, My name is Cheryl. So we find two pronunciations for uh, this name. All right, let's move on to our next word for today. It's pronounced charlatan. Charlatan. And that's not a common word. Repeat after me. Charlatan. So I would like to tell you what it means. It means a person falsely claiming to have a special knowledge or skill, but the person does not really have it. So you can say, I don't believe in him. He is a charlatan. Okay. All right. So repeat after me, Shelton. Okay, our next word is chivalry. Chivalry. That sounds funny because you expect to say chivalry. And that's because of the short sound in the second syllable. So you go chivalry. Chivalry. Okay, but take note of the point uh, where I'm trying to make. The word, the sound at the beginning is shivery and not chivari. It's not ch, it's shivery. And that's not a common word also. Um, and you like to know the meaning. It means um, the medieval night system with its religious, moral and social code. Uh, the old meaning is night, so 
You can call it knight, you can call it noble men, uh, horsemen collectively. So, so someone can say, we no longer live in the age of chivalry, he told his wife. <laughs> That's nice. We no longer live in the age of chivalry, he told his wife. Anyway, so take note of that. The word is chivalry. And it can mean noble, it can mean a uh, knight, it can mean a uh, uh, horseman collectively. All right, okay, so let's take a look at the next word. It's pronounced parachute. Most times I hear people say parachute. It's not ch, it's actually sh, parachute. And we know what that means, right? Which fills with air and allows a person or heavy objects attached to it to descend slowly when dropped from aircraft. Okay, right? And that is parachute. Okay, our next word is kish. Surprise, surprise. Can you see the spelling? Ah, oh, English is interesting. So it's pronounced kish. Or you pronounce it as quiche. Quiche. It's pronounced quiche. And I'm sure that's not a common word. So it's a kind of food. Oh, should I call it a dessert? Okay, so it's a baked tart uh, with savory filling thickened with eggs usually eaten cold. Okay, let's take the next word. Our next word is fuchsia. So you can hear uh, fisher as in color, fuchsia as in color, fuchsia as in color. So it's a purplish red color, uh, like that of the sepals of a typical fuchsia flower. Okay, so be careful not to pronounce that word as. So remember, it's sh. Our next word is shoot. 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 It's spelled C H U T E. Shoot and not shoot. Now, what does it mean? It is a slope that can convey something to a lower level. It's a slope that can convey something to a lower level level to a lower level so that is the word uh that's the word shoot okay now let's take our next word it's pronounced crochet crochet <laughs> funny pronunciation and some pronounce it as uh crochet Cro it's pronounced cliche Cliché, repeat after me. Cliché. And that, of course, that, that's a common word among uh, those who are well-read. But that's not a common word among average people. Uh, the word cliché means a phrase or opinion that is overused and betrays a lack of original thoughts. It's an old cliche for example our next word is niche niche repeat after me niche i'm sure you've heard such word before you hear someone saying uh, it's trying to cover ni uh, a niche a comfortable or suitable position in life or employment okay now let's have a sentence on that he is now an editor in Punch newspaper and I feel he has finally found a niche for himself. Okay. The next word is douche. Douche. That's a funny one. Douche. It's pronounced douche. Okay, our next word is Michel. Michel. Okay, repeat after me. Michel. 
It's a female given name. And it's good you know how to pronounce it. So repeat after me. Michelle. Michelle. Now, let me tell you about this. A guy received a slap. In fact, the lady landed a slap on him because the guy mispronounced her name. The guy said, Hi, Mitchell. And the girl said, What did you call me? He said, Mitchell. And he was laughing, and the girl slapped him. Don't ever mispronounce my name. My name is Michelle. And the guy said, Okay. Michelle? <laughs> That's just a joke. All right, so, okay. So it's Michelle and not Mitchell. So that a girl, a girl will not land a slap on you. All right, okay, so it's Michelle. And let's go to our next word. Our next word is Chinook. And it can also be pronounced as alternative pronunciation is Chinook. Uh, I'm sure you like to know what it means. It means a warm, dry wind which blows down the east side of the Rocky Mountains at the end of winter. Okay, so we can have our next word is a uh, uh, shroud. Shroud. And that's not a common word. I'm sure you like to know the meaning. It means an absurd pretense intended to create a pleasant or respectable appearance. The synonym for it is uh, fast, pantomime, and so on. Uh, let's have a sentence on that. Any discussion on unity is a charade. Okay. Now, our next word is chevron. I think uh, that's common and people pronounce it nicely. Uh, hardly will you hear anyone saying uh, chevron. But if you have been saying that, the right one is chevron. Is sh and that is it. It's a V-shaped line or stripe, uh, especially one on the sleeve of a uniform, indicating rank or length. Okay, let's have a sentence on that. Let's have a sentence on that. I have a company called Chevron in my country. I have a company called Chevron in my country. Okay, now let's consider our next word. Our next word is uh, ricochet. You talk of Ricochet when a ball or a bullet uh, rebound off an object. In other words, it will hit the object and bounce back. Okay, so that's ricochet. Now let's take another one. Uh, that's sachet. I think this is is common. Sachet. Everybody knows that. So you don't say sachet water, you say sachet water. So that's sachet. So not sachet, not ch. And we have that in Nigeria. <laughs> it may not be common in other places, in other countries, but we have sachet water in Nigeria. And most people drink sachet water. Or sachet water and not sachet. Okay. Now let's take our next word. The next word is a uh, chalet, Sh chalet, and that is a, a kind of house built with wood. Okay, and it's a building, a building made of uh, a wood. Okay, so it's that don't say chalet, but say chalet. All right. Now let's take our next word. Say chic. Chic. That's a common word. We often refer to a good looking, elegant lady as a chic. 
and not a chick because if you call a good looking lady a chick then you're calling the lady a baby chicken <laughs> okay so the right pronunciation is chick is a sh and not ch but the baby chicken is chick all right so if you mean to say chick as a good looking elegant lady don't say chick say chick good but for a baby chicken you can say chick so repeat after me chick Our next word is chauvinism. Chauvinism. Uh, we can have other words from it, and they have the same beginning. Chauvinist. It's also a word from chauvinism. Um, take note that it's not chauvinism. Take note of that. It's actually O, chauvinism, or chauvinist. And uh, what's chauvinist? It means. Uh, someone that has uh, someone that has aggressive um, patriotism okay or excessive love of one's own cause group sex or country okay so that's chauvinism or chauvinist you say um, I'm not a chauvinist. I love everybody. Okay. Repeat after me. I am not a chauvinist. I love everybody. Good. So the right pronunciation is chauvinist. Chauvinist. Okay. Let's look at the next word. Our next word is moustache. Moustache. And uh, of course, we know what moustache is. The diction oracle has got moustache. <laughs> so you can say, men keep moustache. So some men keep moustache. So repeat after me, moustache and not ch. So say moustache. Mustache. 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 That's a long R in the second syllable. Okay, now let's consider our next word. Our next word is pronounced pistachio. Repeat after me. Pistachio. <laughs> That's not a common word. I'm sure you like to know the meaning. It means an edible green seed of an Asian tree. So that's pita uh, pistachio. Repeat after me. Pistachio. Have you eaten a pistachio ice cream before? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Have you eaten a pistachio ice cream before okay our next word is Chevrolet Chevrolet Sh Chevrolet so it's pronounced Chevrolet and not Chevrolet please take note of that is a kind of car uh, that is common among uh, people in the US Yes, um, a US car made by General Motors and especially popular as a family car. So you can say, my best car is Chevrolet. Repeat after me. My best car is Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Repeat after me. Chevrolet. My best car is Chevrolet. Okay. Our last but not the least word is chaise. Chaise. And of course, that's not a common word, so we like to have the meaning. Is a horse drawn carriage 
for one or two people, typically one with an open top and two wheels. So say chaise, chaise. I saw the young woman in a chaise. Maybe we should say, I saw the old woman in a chaise. Okay, and that's it for the word sounding sh. So you can go over the video again to, in order for you to familiarize yourself with some of these words. Now, I like to use some of these words in sentences. Our dialogue is between two boys and... And uh, I want you to take note of uh, how each of them sounds, uh, the CH sounding SH. Okay, so I'm going to act the voice or the voices now. Okay, so the first boy is uh, Tom and he's talking to Chimaya. Don't forget it's an illustrative dialogue, okay? I wish to buy a strong car when I grew up. Then you would have to work hard so you won't end up becoming a famished chef who simply serves champagne or chartreuse at cocktails. Chimaya, I wish you wear shimmies as apron and serve me champagne. You are angry? How dare you call me a chef? How dare you call me a chef? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. So you can try to say the dialogue with your friend. Now, let's have a poem on CH sound and sh. Notice I said a poem. Poem. All right. Let's have a poem now. And the poem... Is titled Chef C H E F. Okay, please enjoy it. I went to see the chef to complain about his shelf. I couldn't open your shelf. What do you want from the shelf? I was asked by the chef. I wanted to buy a champagne and a little chartres. Okay, a short story. Bola, my best friend, was having her graduation party. She was very happy that she was soon going to be a graduate from the most experienced college in the country. The chef had already served the food and drinks. Among the drinks served was champagne and chartres, my favorite. My friends drank to their fill. Everybody was happy with Bola, including my chaperon. Okay, did you enjoy that? So you can go over it again in order for you uh, to enjoy it. Alright, now at this point we have come to the end of the CH sounding SH. You can make comments in the comments box down the uh, channel and scroll down. You'll see where you can comment on uh, what you want me to, uh, to discuss, what you would like me to discuss in my next video. You can make comments on what you want me to discuss in my next video, and then I'll, I'll do that for you. Okay, so make sure you do the task I've given you, and I'll see you next time. But before I go, please, 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 match the red button, subscribe. I noticed that many have not subscribed. You've been watching and enjoying the video, and you are not subscribing. It's free. Some called me and were saying, Diction Oracle, are we going to be charged 
for subscribing? And I said, no. Oh my God. The answer is no. You will not be charged for subscribing. So please just click the red button. And once you click the red button, you don't need to click it twice. Just click it. Once you click it, it will fade. So just subscribe. Uh, just subscribe by clicking the red subscribe icon. You will see it immediately under my video. Uh, to the left part of the video, you see there. You see subscribe. Just click on it and it will fade out. Just click on it and it will fade out. And if you're watching the next video, you don't need to click it again. That's all. And please also click uh, the part where we have thumbs up. Where we have the thumbs up. Yes. Click. Education. Intonation. Pronunciation. Speak right to the nation. You want to know how? Please ask me now. Sounds from R to Z, intonation, 